dropped her bowl, her ball in the water bowl. I want her to uh, critical think for herself. I want her to problem solve it. Get it. See how she's gonna do it. Or if she's even gonna do it. Go get it. Get your ball. She almost got it. She's putting her whole head into there. Good, good. Good, good. Good girl. Good girl. Wow. What a good job. Yes, you got it. You overcame your fear. Good job. It was perfect I was able to record that for you guys. You know, I try to do that as much as possible. I try to give the dog some time to help themselves, critical think. You know, if you can be there to uh, support them without doing it for them, it gives them confidence to complete the task. But you have to guide them. You gotta guide them and kind of show them and have some patience and let them try to figure it out. Dogs are smart. People underestimate them sometimes or baby them too much. And look, we're teaching her to give it, put in our hands. Good, good. She loves the ball. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, um, I'm playing a new game with her and this game is going to help with impulse control and I'm going to be using that ball So I wanted to show you guys what I do. I just thought of it today and um, You know, that's what's cool about having a dog is that he's your best bud and you know, he goes with me everywhere. So You know, I start being creative and thinking of ways I can interact with the dog and at the same time I'm playing with the dog, but I'm really working on um, obedience and and control so this game is gonna help with uh, her impulse control. So I'm gonna set up the cameras and I'll show you uh, what I do. Sit. Good. Pass. Good. All right. So the Doberman has trouble sitting still when I throw the ball. She always jumps the gun. So my plan is to use this gate to help stop her from going. <laughs> but you can see here, she's just really quick. It caught, caught me off guard. All we have to do is just take her back to the same spot and try it again. Repetition is key here. Just wanna wait for that eye contact and then give her the go. And now she gets to use her nose to try and search for the ball. Which is really good, you know? This, the nose is their most powerful asset. And so why not put it to use? Yeah. Bam, there you go, she found it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, come on. Right here. She's trying to go around. The only way she can go after is right here.
job. Good job. Good job. Right here. My main focus with this game is to have her sit while I throw the ball. But here you can see I'm struggling because I don't have a leash. You know what? I need a leash for this exercise. So I'm gonna put the leash on her prong collar. This is a high distraction, high impulse control so her energy is going to be a lot higher so I need the prompt caller to be able to send the message Sit. I want you guys to notice how soft and light-handed I am when pulling up on the leash with the prong collar. All you need is a little bit of guidance. Don't gotta be rough with it. Just slowly guide her the way you, where you want and release the pressure. Okay, perfect. Now let me break it down for you and let me tell you what um, what this is teaching the dog. Um, this is teaching the dog to sit, be patient, eye contact, impulse control, controlling her nerves, waiting for me to say go. It's building up ball drive and it's giving me the opportunity to correct her and guide her the way I want to. So as you can see before I use the leash, there was no way for me to correct her, right? And lead her back to the position I wanted her to. So she was very sloppy, kind of just all over the place. So with that exercise, it gave me the opportunity to correct her, which is building the relationship. You know, it's just a tool to help me communicate with her without being verbally stressed out. Because if I didn't have the leash, then I would have been like, no, 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 you know, chasing after her, this and that. And so, you know, with the proper use of the leash and the prong collar, it's a great tool. And so, and to top it all off, it's a game. So it's fun. Look how, <laughs> look how happy she is, you guys. At the same time, we're also working her ability to smell and use her nose and to track, right? Because when I throw the ball, she can't see where the ball's going. And I'm waiting for her to make eye contact with me. So when she makes eye contact with me, she kind of loses track of where the ball went. And so when I release her, she's using her nose and all her senses to help find that ball. So really this exercise is just beneficial in many ways. And at the end of the day, when you guys make activities fun for both you and your dog, time flies and it makes you want to go out and spend time with your dog. It motivates you to spend time with your dog. So I encourage you guys to be creative, find what your dog loves and play games with your dog. You know, you gotta customize your games according to your relationship. So this is cool, like she picked that up really fast, so now I gotta up the stakes and make it even more harder for her. And uh, you know, that's how you grow. And at the same time, that's how you, how you have fun and build a good relationship. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, spending time with me and the Doberman. You guys all have a good day. <laughs>